Man, do I ever find it hard to make decisions for myself? Well, I've been in recovery and I still can't make up my mind. Does this sound familiar to you? Do you have problems making decisions on a daily basis for yourself, especially in early recovery? Because if you do, you're not alone. And that's what this video is about, making decisions. And there's two major reasons why in recovery, we find it hard to make decisions. For myself, I could make a decision for myself in early recovery of the first couple of years if my life depended on it. I remember going to a psychiatrist and I said to the psychiatrist, I can't make a decision. He said, Terry, just make a decision. If the decision is no good, just change your mind. I'm like, you're a genius, doc, you're a genius. And it's the facts, I couldn't make a decision. I was too afraid all the time. And like I said earlier, there's two main reasons. The first reason is, Alcohol addiction or addiction in general separates us from ourselves. And let me just t tell you what I mean. This is your addictive life. This is who you are. The longer you drink, the more separation occurs in your life. It really does. So what happens? We don't understand ourselves. We don't know our needs and our wants, the way we think, how we feel, what we want to do in our lives. We don't understand that. That's why they say in the program, don't make any decisions for at least one year in your recovery. Not because people want to get you sober or stay sober or they want you to work your program. They do want that, but it's because we don't understand the way we tick because addiction pulls us away from our true self. So within a few years, you start coming back together. You start understanding yourself and your addictive personality, your addictive life slowly disappears and you become who you are meant to be in this world. And you start to understand who you are, the way you tick, what makes you happy, what makes you mad, what makes you sad, all those kind of things. And you start to understand your needs and wants in your life. So that's one of the main reasons we don't understand ourselves. The second one is we don't trust ourselves. No trust for ourselves. And why should we? Because I don't know about you, but I know about myself. When I drank, I let everybody down. I lost jobs, I had good intentions, but it just didn't work out the way I thought it would. So when I made decisions in my alcoholic life, it was a total disaster. So when I sobered up, I didn't trust my decision making. I had a hell of a time making decisions because of the trust factor. I used to walk around meetings, you know, talk to people, you know, what do you think I should do? You think I should date that person? Think I should buy that air conditioner? Think I should buy that car or take that job or buy those pants? I couldn't make a decision. So sometimes what I would do is take somebody else's advice, implement it in my life, it wouldn't work out, then I'd resent them for telling me what to do. That's how crazy it was. But eventually I found a sponsor in the program and that individual helped me out make decisions, helped me maneuver around the first couple of years of my life. And I was brutally honest with that person and I listened to him and I respect him and he's still in my life to this day, 25 years later. So finding somebody that can help you maneuver and you know what I'm talking about, get around the first couple of years in the program and in your life, help you rebuild your life, help you make decisions and follow through with those decisions is a really good idea, okay? So that's basically the two main reasons why decision-making in recovery is difficult and why they tell you to stay in a simple life for at least the first 12 months. Like if you're in a relationship, just stay there. If you're in a job, if you're doing things just stay like that. Don't make any major decisions or upheaval on your life because it'll cause way too much stress and stress to an alcoholic can make us relapse. So just a brief recap. Two reasons why we have problems making decisions. The first one is we don't understand ourselves. We get an early recovery, want to make all these decisions, these life changes, these major life changes, and we don't know the way we tick, the way we feel. We don't need to know our needs and wants. And most of those decisions will probably won't be the right ones, believe it or not. The second one is we don't trust ourselves. Trust is to be earned. You've heard that saying before, right? 
we have to earn trust within ourselves so start trusting where what you need and want how you see the world make little decisions follow through with those decisions should I buy an air, air conditioner should I go out with that girl make little decisions that will not cause a big problem in your life and it'll slowly build trust with yourself in your decision making and it'll boost your self-worth okay so try that and let me know how you make out in the comments below if you like my video leave a comment below if you don't like my video leave a comment below but can you all do me one favor can you please subscribe to my channel i really really appreciate it my name is terry g this is an alcohol free life where we learn to live sober one day at a time. I wanna thank you very much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you could hit that subscribe button, I'd appreciate it too. Remember, stay safe, stay sober, and take it one day at a time, and I'll see you next week, and enjoy the summer, because it's a great summer here in Ottawa, Canada. Thanks again for stopping by. Bye-bye.